you know, for five and seven again, I'm, that's not going to be good enough. You know what I mean? A new season for Husker football with a renewed standard of excellence. A team looking for its first winning season in eight years and first bowl game since 2016. I expect us to be good. I think our team is going to be really good this year. A new quarterback entering a new look Big Ten, an 18-team coast-to-coast conference. This is the best league. This is the NFL of college football in my mind. This team won't back down from a challenge, and the bar is set high. The expectations inside that football program, inside the locker room, inside the coaching staff, are higher than mine, and mine are higher than any fans possibly could be. So, let's kick off 2024 with some great expectations. I expect us to be relevant in the conference. I expect us to win. This is the Big Red Zone Husker Preview Show. Hello again, everybody. Welcome to the Big Red Zone Husker Preview Show. I'm Andy Kendi. College football is back, and it has a new look. Tony Petiti's Big Ten is certainly a bigger Big Ten now. 18 teams starting this fall with the addition of Oregon, Washington, USC, and UCLA. The goal is to earn a ticket to the new 12-team playoff, which begins this December, and that's another first. The Huskers looking for their first winning season since 2016. They play their first four games at home, starting with UTEP, then a big one against Deion Sanders in Colorado, followed by UNI, and then a first Friday night home game against Illinois to start league play. Three of the next four on the road at Purdue, home against Rutgers, then after a bye week at Indiana at Ohio State. Then home games against UCLA to start November, followed by another bye week. Then at USC, home against Wisconsin, finishing up at Iowa on Black Friday. And after a 5-7 and seven first season, Matt Rule knows his team is ready to turn things around. We've talked a lot about chasing three. Like, you know, hey, we lost these games last year. What can we, what can we learn from last year? I can't learn from much from 2018, 2019 because I wasn't here. But I can learn from last year. And, uh, you know, if we protect the ball a little bit better, take it away a few more times, uh, score a couple more touchdowns in the red zone, all of that will go away. So just trying to get our guys to focus on the football itself instead of the stuff that comes from it is, is the key to me. And then when we talked to you a little earlier, you talked about emphasizing having fun personally and then – by extension, the team having fun. Why is that so important? Well, you know, you play football because you love it. Um, you know, you're, you're a better golfer when you're having fun playing golf. You're a better tennis player when you're having fun playing tennis. Um, it rekindles you to that part of you as a kid, I mean, that, that, that loves what you do. When you go out there tight because you, you don't want to make a mistake, when you go out there tight because you, 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 you're feeling the pressure, you're never going to play well. So I'm, I'm going to have fun this year. I'm going to be tough. I'm going to be hard-nosed. I'm going to work my tail off. Every moment's not going to be fun, but I'm going to enjoy this time with my players. Matt Rule's made a jump in each uh, year two at each of the stops at the college level from two wins to six at Temple, one win to seven wins in year two at Baylor. Rule, of course, trying to better that five and seven he had in year one last fall on Lincoln. The Huskers are in a position to make that jump in year two under Matt Rule. The culture is established. The comfort level is there. But the coaches know they need to be better as well. With more, here's our Big Red Zone expert, Damon Benning of the Husker Radio Network. I think you'll notice that the staff is better in game. Okay. I think managing the clock, timeouts, situationally, coin tosses, things of that nature. Because for all the hem hawing we do around the turnovers and the, this, that, and the other, the one thing that the staff can control absolutely can control is situationally how they call and manage a game. You know, Coach Rule and that staff, they haven't asked anybody to do anything that they're not willing to do. And when you have to check that mirror and say, okay, where can I get better? I think you absolutely have to start there. Huskers 0-5 last season in games decided by seven points or less. Now, so much buzz about this team and the focal point true freshman Dylan Rayola, who enrolled early, put on a clinic during the spring game and now, earlier today, was named the starter in the season opener against UTEP. Rayola, one of the leaders of this team, and refuses to set the bar, at least publicly, in terms of expectations in his first season at Nebraska. I don't really pay attention to expectations. I just focus on everything I can do in, you know, today and what I can control. Um, I think our team is going to be really good this year, but... You know, we, we just got to keep working on getting better every day. You can't win games, you've turned the ball over. And I think, you know, a lot of people have been through that and, and seen it. So, um, you know, the new guys just, just know that 
we're not going to turn the ball over and, you know, we're going to put points up on the board. Yeah, turnover is the big story in 2023. Huskers 31 giveaways, including 15 lost fumbles. That's the most in college football. The turnover margin, just awful, minus 17. That was second to last last year in the FBS. Now, Matt Rule has a new boss in his second season in Lincoln. It's Troy Dannon, who left Washington in March to take over as Nebraska's AD. And I asked the Huskers' new athletic director, how would he define success this fall for Husker football? What I tell the coaches and what I've told every fan that's, that's asked me is trust me and that the expectations inside that football program, inside the locker room, inside the coaching staff are higher than mine and mine are higher than any fans possibly could be. Mm -hmm. so, so expectations begin at home. They're high, high expectations. And to say, you know, you're going to win 12, you're going to win 11, you're going to win six, you know, whatever the numbers. The one expectation that I'll always have, though, is that we are controlling to the extent that we control the outcome of a game, that we do everything right. And, and if somebody beats us when we perform, so be it, and congratulations. And so, you know, there are times that maybe you don't have your best moment, but as, as much as we can do to prepare our athletes, prepare our coaches, give everybody the opportunity to have the best moment every time they step on the field, that's my internal expectation. Because then I believe, and I've seen it happen over the years, success take care of itself if you put yourself in a position for success. Huskers offense grabs the headlines, no doubt, but the Nebraska Cornhuskers will win games on defense. Tony White's crew, 11th in total defense a year ago, 13th in scoring, giving up just 18 points a game. They do have room for improvement, especially on third down and in takeaways. They forced just 14 turnovers last year, tied for 103rd in the FBS.